Suhail says, if Allah has decreed everything and written down how we will spend our lives and where we will end, whether hell or paradise, then what is our role in all this? And why should we work hard when our destiny has already been preordained? So, Hale, this question is problematic because one of the six articles of Iman, actually the last one of them, is known as وَأَن تُؤْمِنَ بِالْقَدَرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِّهِ to believe in predestiny, whether good or bad. So, to believe in predestiny, you have four things that you must believe in. First, Allah's knowledge of what was in the past, in the present, and the future, and what did not happen, how would it be if it were to happen? Two, Allah's writing of such destiny. Three, Allah's creation of such things that will happen. And four, Allah's divine will. So you have to believe in all of that in order for you to believe in predestiny. So when you say, then why should we work hard when our destiny has already been preordained? Question number one, do you believe Allah is knowledgeable? Answer is yes. Alhamdulillah. Do you believe that Allah is fair and just? The answer is yes. Alhamdulillah. Do you believe that Allah Azza wa Jal owns everything in this universe? The answer is yes. In this case, you should act and behave to the best of your ability because you do not know what Allah has preordained for you. Because if you believe in destiny, then you should know that everything is written down, but you don't know whether I'm going to do a sin or I'm going to pray to rak'ahs. You choose. And the choice of yours is already preordained. You have a choice. You say, but Allah preordained upon me to do this. I say, go to the highest building in your town. 20, 30, 40 stories high. Look down, it's a long way. Now you jump. If Allah preordained that you'll f fall on your feet safe, unharmed, and walk away, it will happen. But if not, you will die. Will you do that? He said, no, of course not. Am I crazy? Why not? He said, because I know that I'm going to die. Likewise, if you sin, you're going to go to hell. Will you sin? Mm, no, I, I don't think I have to sin. I, I shouldn't sin. Okay, why, why do you cook food? So that I can eat. If I don't eat, I'm going to die of hunger. Why don't you say it's already preordained? I'm just going to sit and watch. If Allah wants to fill up my stomach, Allah would do that. So you have to acknowledge these things in order not to allow shaitan to play and manipulate your mind. 